I don't want everybody to vote. As a matter of fact, our leverage in the elections quite candidly goes up as the voting populace goes down. Americans, it's the moment we've been waiting for. 2020 election, we've only waited four years for this. Is that it? It kind of feels like war. I guess that happens when you're up the creek without an oar. Listen, citizens, we're in the same boat, overwhelmed and scared, and if you're starting to lose hope, I won't believe you. But there's something that I think you should note. If you don't vote, you're a dope. I'll say that again. If you don't vote, you're a dope. There's plenty of things it's okay to not care about. What? Like the way Kim K wears her hair about the whereabouts of Carmen San Diego eating spam. But when it comes to governance, we gotta give a damn, and we don't. No? It's true of our voting population. Barely half of us cast votes to set the nation on a course we believe in. Participation is so low, we're 10% below our amigos in Mexico. Whoa. I know. And if you don't want to keep listening, that's fine. But understand, that's what's breaking the system. It's denying that one voice can be consequential when, especially this year, each one is essential. It doesn't matter if you vote for Democrats, Republicans, the People of this country deserve to be more than supplicants. The public gets upset when our leaders lose balance. We seem to forget we control them with our ballots. Mm. It's not just for the president, it's also representatives and senators and sheriffs and mayors. They're all dependent on us. And they serve us regardless of who elected them. So it'd be best for us if all of us selected them. And if you're thinking, eh, I don't want to mess with this. <laughs> what, am I supposed to be impressed with this? The nation's on a precipice, we know the antidote. So if you don't vote, you're a dope. <laughs> it's not a joke. If you don't vote, you're so a dope. How do you vote? Method one. one, vote in person. It's just like you remember. Head out to the pools on the 3rd of November. Now we could take a while, bring a snack in your headphones, and hey, it's 2020, wear a mask, be respectful. Method two, vote early, as simple as it sounds. You get to vote in person, but avoid the crazy crowds. Check when your local polls are open online and get it done. Do your duty, make a plan ahead of time. Method three, vote by mail, as valid as the rest. Sign it like your license or it won't pass the test. Honestly, throw it out if you don't do it just right. Really? Follow the instructions, send it back, seal it tight. There's people in power who hour by hour sit in their tower, watching you cower, trying to take your vote away. In every state from Arizona to Virginia, you don't believe me? Ask the court about the VRA. Hey, I'm sorry, I got a little hot there. Sorry. Well, look it up, I dare you to not care. Some Americans still don't get a say, and your willful disenfranchisement is standing in the way. Look, look, we the people have the right to choose the building blocks. A more perfect union made at the ballot box. Democracy needs you to stay afloat. So if you don't vote, you're a dope. Seriously, bro. November 3rd, get out and vote. You really gotta go. And if you don't know, now you know. Don't be a dope. <laughs>